Switching gears a bit, we are going across to Tobago, and live from Tobago is Latoya Roberts Thomas, who is an author, and we're speaking about a book launch of a collection of poems. Good morning, Latoya. Hi, good morning, good morning. <laughs> How are you? Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you for joining us again. And congratulations yeah. on your book launch. Thank you, thank you so much. It All was right. a journey, but I'm glad I'm here. <laughs> I could only imagine, because I haven't written a book yet. But uh, tell us the name of the book first and foremost. Repeat what you said, sorry. Tell us the name of your book first and foremost. Oh, okay. So the book is entitled A Collection of Poems. And for me, I have been a freelance writer for about five years, but more focused on short articles, featured articles. Right. But during the COVID period, I had an opportunity to really sit a bit and reflect. And, you know, in the process of reflecting about the things that affect me and the things that I see in my society, I started to scribble. And then the scribble eventually took form and ideas kept flowing. And eventually I ended up with over 50 poems, wow. actually. Wow. So I decided, yeah, that I'm going to compile it all and put it into this, this book that, that talks about five main themes, actually. The book speaks to women in society, because as right. a young woman, I see issues affecting women all around. Also, civil society movement is another theme because I'm very heavy into NGO movement, youth movement, civil society okay. growth. Inspiration and motivation is a strong theme for me because as persons, you want to grow. You want those affirmations, those things that keep you up every day and make you determined. And then I do have a great passion for traveling. And you know, with COVID, sometimes the traveling right now right. really restricted. <laughs> but there's a theme called Exploring the World, which I discussed my, my previous travels from Asia, Africa, Europe, wow. America, et cetera. So it's about reflecting and recounting those experiences. And lastly, because I'm a home girl, roots and identity that speaks about the Caribbean life, that speaks about life in Tobago, et cetera. So there are five distinct themes in the book. So uh, with those five themes, there are 50 poems in total. And uh, let, let's touch on some of them a little bit. Now, what is your creative process like? You know, when, when you decide to put pen to paper, what, what type of mind frame you have to be in? Well, for me, I think I was very much in a reflective and pensive mood when I was writing most of the poems. Not that the poems are sad in any way. They're really light, really inspirational. Some are a bit of um, social and political commentary, I must be right. honest with you. Mm -hmm. Some of the chapters within the civil society movement speaks to the challenge that NGOs, volunteerism, um, youth groups may face at times. Right. Also, the one that speaks about women in society, yes, part of it praises the beauty of being a woman, but it also mm -hmm. acknowledges our challenges and our faults, being a woman. So sometimes, for me, writing the poem was really a quiet space, just sitting and reflecting, and other times it was being brutally honest and getting to the hard-hitting issues that affect me as a person, the issues that I see in my society. And then there are the lighter pieces that talk about travel, which made me happy, right. even though slightly yeah. sad because of COVID. But yeah. yeah, it was a different process depending on the piece and the nature right, and the mood. Right, you know, uh, I guess I guess the 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 theme and the and the tone of each poem would have its own process within itself. Now, uh, yeah. who, are, who is who is this book? targeted toward? Who, who, who do you believe is your ideal reader? My ideal target is definitely um, women between the ages of 25 to 40. And for me, I guess because I'm a, a young woman myself, um, the, the issues of women in society will speak a lot to that. But also there are still some broader subcategories that anybody who is feel like into poetry and wants to read would be able to appreciate, appreciate the book. And then specifically also i believe because there's always this interest in developing caribbean literature and developing local content i believe anybody who is really supportive of the arts supportive of local work will also have an interest in having a look at it wonderful and um when it comes to your so we spoke you spoke about the five major themes you know when it comes to the approach on addressing these themes how do you approach it via these poems well this book is a word in itself um, there are really core messages in the book 
as it relates to society and our behavior and the expectations that we have for young women, the expectations we have for grassroots youths. So I see um, social commentary there wanting to really invoke perceptions and change of behavior. So I, I definitely see that. There are also some pieces there actually directed at the government. Right. I even have a piece with it um, that looks at the dynamics of Trinidad and Tobago. That piece is titled, To My Big Sister. So it looks at the dynamics of how the, the relationship between Trinidad and Tobago works in terms of the economic climate and the, and the issues that Tobagoans may face. So I think there are messages in there for, for different levels of society, different right. spectra of society. And um, definitely it's really to read, appreciate, enlighten, and then also seek positive change when needed. Wonderful, wonderful. And where can we find the book? How do we get our hands on this? Sure. So for now, what we have is via amazon the book will be out later this week Wonderful. um through amazon kindle and then it will be available in hard copy print from the 10th of december you can get it by checking out our website www.booksbylr.com and then you can also order via our social media pages i'm in the process of talking to local bookstores so for sure it will be in books and office supplies in tobago at the beginning of december and i'm hoping to also target the trinidad market later in in the month of December. I know you were lamenting that you can't travel and stuff, but Tobago in itself is so beautiful. You know, how, how, it, how has it been lately in Tobago? I think it has been a bit quiet. I think we're staying at home. We're trying not to get caught up with these parties too much, right? <laughs> right. So, at I, all, actually. I think for most persons, I think we're behaving ourselves, wearing our masks, keeping safe, um, being protected because of the COVID situation. I think mm -hmm. economy-wise, it's a bit slow, but recently I, I saw an article where the Prime Minister was saying that, you know, Tobagonians, the guest houses, the smaller <laughs> villas, are happy because Trinidadians are coming across for the end of season yeah. celebrations and stuff. So I'm looking forward right. to that and, really as And with day. that, uh, all the best for your new book. And I want to thank you so much, Latoya Roberts-Thomas, for joining us this morning.